Uh, if you're into this kind of thing, the uh, Pro Bowl votes are out. The first ballots, essentially, are out. I'm not a, a big postseason award guy. I do enjoy you when my guy's up for the Heisman. Uh, but other than that, I, I'm not a big individual award guy. But the Pro Bowl... I Oh, go ahead, go ahead. Uh, the Pro Bowl uh, leading Pro Bowl vote getters have been announced, uh, and there are no Detroit Lions that ranked first or second in any category. Anybody? Got anything to say? Oh yeah, I, uh, oh. I thought you were still going. <laughs> no. Yeah, um, yeah. But the reason why I do like Pro Bowl, Ryan and Ryan, you take it for a second, especially when it was what it was, when it was kind of like the the right way. It's just here's your one, here's your two. And everybody else is called an alternate. Now everybody's called a Pro Bowl. Yeah, but, that's a problem. Yeah, like when it was that way, it's like, okay, cool. It's Pro Bowl one, it's Pro Bowl two, and then everybody else is alternate. They're not even called Pro Bowl. But the one thing you do, like, this is how you keep in touch, Ryan Mining, who's the best players in the league. This is how you figure out who's the best wide receivers, who's the best offensive lineman, who's the best D tackles. It's because of these nominations and things like this. You start to track people's careers. If you don't have these individual awards, if you don't track Pro Bowl, then when you get to the end of people's careers, it's like, eh, how do I say this individual made the Hall of Fame? How do you discern from one player to the next? By the way, the old Pro Bowl in the uh, 70s and 80s, guys, was a very good game. Matter of fact, in the 70s, they actually had uniforms. They had different helmets. They had the N. They had the A. They had their different colors. The AFC was red and white. The NFC was blue and white. Uh, they really played. It was a good game. Now if they just call it the Pro Bowl games, it's uh, you know they just do a bunch of bunch of stuff. It's in Orlando. It's on a Saturday. I, it might be on a Sunday. It doesn't matter. It's before the Super Bowl. It's on the in between week. But uh, the one I, I don't understand is how is Panay Sewell not on that list? And I know he is ranked a little bit lower than that. But this guy has been a road grader this year for the Lions. I don't understand why no Lion at all is on this sheet. Amon Ross St. Brown. Uh, our tight end, uh, Sam Laporta. I know they're, they're young guys and all, but I believe that they, they are pro bowlers right now. Go ahead, man. Go, no, go ahead, I was man. just going to say uh, Laporta has more touchdowns than Kittle and uh, Travis Kelsey, more catches than Kittle. Um, popularity contest. How about Penny Sewell? Penny Sewell, younger player. Maybe another year. You know what I mean? Yeah. What, what, since his third year. Yeah, so what position is he in right now? Uh, Panesu is fourth among offensive tackles. So, so let's let's put the Lions uh, that's up That's pretty there, darn Pete. good. So here's where the Lions come in, uh, Braylon. Jared Goff is ninth among quarterbacks. This is from Dave Burkett. Sam Laporta, fourth among tight ends. Amon Ra, fourth among wide receivers. Panesu, fourth among offensive tackles. Frank Ragnow, fourth among centers. Aiden Hutchinson, 7th among defensive ends. And uh, Jake McQuaid, 10th among long snappers. So um, you do have pretty high up there, Laporta, St. Brown, Sewell, and Ragnow, all 4th at their respective categories. And what I would say to this is, is Lions fans, be calm. Lions fans. Lions fans, calm down and relax because everything is no longer against the Detroit Lions. Like, it's... To set list. You look at C.D. Lamb, you look at Tariq Hill, I mean, you're talking about one of those wide receivers is on pace to go for over 2,000 yards this year. The other wide receiver in C.D. Lamb has had over 125 yards the last three games, I want to say, with the Cowboys, and you see how good that operate that offense is operating. So, four is not bad at all. I mean, if you look at this list last year, do you have anybody that's fourth? If you look at this just the year before that, and the year before that, and no. the year before that. So, this is a great start for the Lions. The season isn't over, but this is this is what you want to get. You want to have guys on this list. You want to have guys high up in order to be in the NFC Championship hunt every year. In order to be in the potential Super Bowl hunt every year, you got to have guys on this list. You got to have guys that rank high. When they do the hundred, the top hundred players, notice guys that get to Super Bowl. They got some players ranked in the top ten. They got players ranked in the teens, twenties, and thirties. In the meantime, before we get to top ten Thursday, can I just ask you guys a couple of questions? Just looking at first and second here are the Pro Bowls. I'm going to ask you, would you rather, would you rather Tua Tunga Vailoa or Dak Prescott? If you could... You're giving it to me I'm right now? I'm giving you... Yeah. I'm taking Dak. Dak's my uh, fantasy quarterback. If I could have him right, right now at, for a quarterback? For a quarterback for the Lions. I'm taking Dak. Like, Tua's a system quarterback and it's the Michael... It's, it's McDonald's system. 
Like he's a he's a really good quarterback. You saw it at Alabama, but that system perfectly fits him. I think if you bring um, if you bring Dak Prescott here, Ben Johnson and Dak can start cooking. I think if you bring Tua here, it would take Ben Johnson some time or insert offensive coordinator to set up the offense. So give me Dak, Travis Kelsey or George Kittle. Right now, today. Right now, today. George Kittle. Uh, I just don't see Kittle. I don't see uh, Kelsey the way he used to be. He's breaking I think, down. I, I think he's yeah. really broken down. Mm-hmm. You might see another big game out of him. But Kittle's good when he's on the field. When he don't miss games, I got to go Kittle as well. And he's interested in doing other things. Let's uh, yeah. Like you get to a point in your life where you've been doing the yeah. same thing so long, yeah. you're interested in doing other things. I do believe that Travis Kelsey... Football is not number one no. anymore. Ryan, let me ask you this question. Yeah. He's taking a what, beating. When somebody like this, you're Travis Kelsey, and I'm telling you, mm. you got two Super Bowl rings. You've been to three. They're already telling you you're the greatest tight end of yeah. all time. Oh, I don't hate it. And oh, by the way, you date Taylor Swift. Yeah. So now you start to look, well, wasn't the goal to win the Super Bowl? Wasn't the goal to make money? Wasn't the goal to be in the Hall of Fame? Wasn't the goal to be one of the best ever? He's already done all that. It might be the best ever. What am I chasing at this point? 